Hi everyone. Today's story is Acres of Diamonds. Hafiz was a farmer in Africa who was happy and content. He was happy because he was content and he was content because he was happy. One day a wise man came to him and told him about the glory of diamonds and the power that goes along with them. The wise man said, "If you had a diamond the size of your thumb, you could buy your own city." If you had a diamond the size of your fist then you could probably own your own country and then the wise man left that night half his couldn't sleep he was unhappy and he was discontented too he was unhappy because he was discontented and discontented because he was unhappy like the feeling of uh, dissatisfied the next morning Hafiz made arrangement to sell his farm took care of his family and went off in search of diamonds he looked all over africa and could not find any he looked all through europe and could not find any by the time he got to spain he was emotionally physically and financially depleted he was so disheartened that he committed suicide by throwing himself into the barcelona river back home the person who had bought his farm was watering the camels at the stream that ran through the property across the stream the rays of the morning sun hit the stone and made it sparkle like a rainbow he thought the stone would look like you know he he thought the stone uh, would look good in his living room he picked up the stone and put it on his mantelpiece that afternoon only the wise man came and saw the stone sparkling he asked is half his back The new owner said no why do you ask the wise man said because that is a diamond i recognize one when i see one the man said no that's just a stone i picked up from the stream come i'll show you there are many more they went and picked some samples and sent them for analysis sure enough the stones were diamonds they found that the farm was indeed covered with the acres of diamond a lot a lot many diamonds were there now if we think what is the moral of this story actually uh, there there are six morals of this story let us understand all one by one you know when the first one when our attitude is right we realize that we all are working on acres and acres of diamond opportunity is always under our feet we do not have to go anywhere all we need to do is to recognize that opportunity second the grass always looks greener on the other side you always think the other person is happy you are not thinking of our own the third while we are eyeing the grass on the other side there are others who are eyeing the grass on our side they would be happy to trade places with us fourth people who don't know how to recognize opportunity complain of the noise when it knocks opportunities are easier recognized when they are leaving rather than when they are coming and the last one is opportunity only knocks once the next one may be a better or worse one but never the same that is why it is so crucial to make the right decision at the right time a right decision at the wrong time becomes a wrong decision mind it and act accordingly thank you